RFID-based library security system. Introduction The researcher's project is based on the security of books inside the library. The researchers had developed a project using radio frequency identification technology. Before, the books inside the library was lacking of security. There were some instances that if library personnel are not around, some students can actually get a book outside the library unauthorized. So, with the help of RFID, the researchers will now be able to secure the books from getting out of the library. The system will record the borrowing of books and will make borrowing transactions easier. VisualBasic.net has been used in developing the graphical user interface and MySQL for the database. When a book has been detected from either door or window, the information about the book will show in the interface. Information are being transmitted and received with the use of RFID system wirelessly. The use of RFID technology has been more effective in securing and borrowing of books. The main objective of this study was to implement an RFID security system that would heighten the security inside the university library. A typical RFID system consists of readers, tags, and backend servers that receive and process the information that the readers collect from the tags. By using the system, the data stored for the information about a certain tag can be changed, update, and lock. An unauthorized book with RFID tag can be detected from the door and window with antenna installed around it. The antenna is part of the RFID reader that is connected to the PC and has been integrated with the system. If this study will be implemented in PUNP, the researchers will improve the security inside the university library and lessen the work of library personnel. It will be of great impact for PUNP to implement an RFID technology. Statement of the problem. At present, the researchers have not seen a system that would have heightened the security of books inside the university library. Thus, the researchers sought to answer the following questions. 1. What components are needed in the construction of the proposed project? 2. What are the benefits of the proposed project to the university? 3. Who will manage and maintain the proposed project? 4. How much cost is required for the initial construction of the proposed project? 5. How much cost is required for the maintenance of the proposed project? 6. What are the advantages of using RFID over the current library security system? 7. Considering the financial stability of the university today, will the administration be willing to implement the project? 8. What is the current status of library security system at the PUNP library? Objectives of the study The main objective of this study was to implement an RFID security system that would heighten the security inside the university library. Specifically, this study aimed to 1. Develop an algorithm that can read the RFID tag 2. Develop the system that will detect the RFID tag at the desired distance. 3. Write, test, and debug a program. 4. Integrate RFID module with the system. 5. Test the prototype. 6. Build a low-cost RFID-based library security system. Flowchart of methodology. The methodology is accomplished in six-step processes at 1. Gather data such as information, references, and materials or equipment that are needed for the project study. This will be the basis of the researchers in developing this system. 2. Required definition, knowing the required specifications of the components needed and the compatibility of the chosen hardware to the software made. 3. In this process, the researchers will develop an algorithm, flowchart, and codes of the software. and Duck diagram, schematic diagram, and wirings will be made for the hardware. 4. Test and debug the software if database is correct and the hardware if properly working. 5. Integrate the software and hardware if simultaneously working and to have its own communication. 
6. Experimental setup for final testing. A. Test for signal strength. B. Test for optimal distance. Results 1. This proposed project using RFID technology has been integrated with a program made. The process of detection is fast that the staff can be alarmed simultaneously when an unauthorized book has been taken out of the library. 2. The detection of every unique tag has been so accurate. The summated time for the detection of tags through the antenna installed in a door or window is from 3 milliseconds to 7 milliseconds and works at about 5 milliseconds. 3. With the manual testing of the program together with the prototype, the researchers have measured the effectiveness of the system through the use of the appropriate antenna as shown in Table 3.4 and Table 3.5 and assure that this system will be working effectively and efficiently because it has 89% accuracy. Four, by the use of RFID technology, the books inside the university library are now at the most secured state. It will record the borrowing of books and taking an unauthorized book out of the library. Five, a laptop could be used in case of power interruption. 6. The required cost for maintaining the system once implemented is around 4,000 pesos per year. The amount includes the payment of the power supply needed for the system operation. 7. Considering the financial stability of PNP, the researchers assured that the administration will afford to operate maintain and manage the system. Conclusion and Recommendation Conclusion The use of RFID technology for automatic identification and security was very efficient. With the use of passive RFID tags, detection has been more effective and the work has been easier of integrating it with VB.NET for GUI and MySQL for the database. The integration of software and hardware was very flexible and could be modified easily. The borrowing of books has become automated, less effort and highly improved in contrast with the manual recording of transactions before. Recommendations The read range of the RFID reader can be increased by increasing the number of loops of the magnetic wire and by using a higher frequency RFID reader and could be used in the implementation of the system. This project can be used for further studies to develop the system and improve the use of RFID technology. The system Login The staff has only three attempts to enter the correct username and password. If the third attempt is incorrect, the login form will close automatically. Home page. The home page will show once logging in is correct. Adding of user. In the home page, click the database icon then select the radio button for library users to add a user. Insert all the information needed in a text box. Click the insert button to record the new user. Data has been successfully recorded. Deleting of user. Click the delete button. A form will show asking to input the user's library ID you want to delete. Type the user's library ID, then click OK. Data has been deleted successfully. Adding of book. Adding. In adding a book, we need to have it first in the book inventory where we insert the book ID, the details, and the quantity of the book. Data has been added in the book inventory successfully. To formally add a book in the database, select the book's DB in the database form. 
write all the details of the book and the RF code of the tag, then click Insert. Data has been successfully added. Deleting of book. Click the Delete button. Insert the tag's RF code installed in the book. Click OK. Data has been deleted successfully. Borrowing of book. Click the transaction icon in the home page. Insert the library ID of the user and the RF code of tag installed in the book in a text box. Details regarding the user and the book are shown in the form. Click the borrow button then select OK. A book has been successfully borrowed. Returning of book. Type the library ID of the user and the RF code of tag installed in the book in the text box. Details regarding the user and the book are shown in the form. Click the return button. A book has been returned successfully. Detection. A book with RF added tag has been detected from the antenna installed around the door. Book can be detected at the range of 4 inches to 5 inches away from the door. A book with RFID tag has been detected from the Windows antenna.